On this episode of Did Y'all See, Creflo Dollar's fundraiser for Private Jet fails to lift off, Taraji declares no ring, no title, and special guest, Pastor David Bullock of Preachers of Detroit. All that and more on this Did Y'all See. Hey, welcome to this episode of Did Y'all See. Today we have a special guest, Reverend David Bullock from Oxygen's Preachers of Detroit. So we are going to chat about everything that you have going on on the show a little bit later, but right now we are going to get into our topics for the week. Did y'all see Reverend Creflo Dollar has been in headlines because he recently kicked off a, a fundraiser asking parishioners and supporters to um, donate $65 million for a new jet, a new private jet. I mean, when I think about Creflo Dollar, Clefto Dollar, Creflo Dollar. Uh, Pastor Dollar. I mean, I guess if your name is Dollar, your church is about dollars. Mm -hmm. But $65 million? That's insane. Right? And nobody in the church can use it? Mm. <laughs> I mean, that's not my kind of church. Yeah, and then it was like, it was for global missions. And I'm like, so who you out here reaching out to? Minutes? These people, like, $65 million, you know how many people you can feed with $65 million? First of all, everybody in Decatur, College Park, Atlanta, Savannah, Macon, Albany, the entire state of Georgia must be saved because if you have to fly out to spread the gospel, you must have spread the gospel so well, mm. right? I mean, what's interesting is I bet there are people across the street from this church that are not saved. And you don't need a $65 million jet to do that. Mm. Um, but the audacity to, to insult people by having a GoFundMe, 200,000 people give $300. Not only would this feed people, how many businesses could you start? Yeah. How, many, how many kids could go to college and graduate? without student loan debt. I mean, I just think it sends the wrong message. And when I read about Jesus in the Bible, he's not begging for money, mm -hmm. right? He's feeding, clothing, visiting those in prison. In fact, he said, I was in prison, you didn't come see me. So it's not my kind of Christianity, but if you go to Reverend Dollar's church, make sure you take a dollar with you, because <laughs> obviously he's about that dollar. Yeah, and I'm just like, we, why can't you just ride on a regular you're playing with everybody else everywhere. He's like, I'm trying to be among <laughs> God's <laughs> people. <laughs> wow, that, you know that's deep. Pay for my jet, but I don't want to ride on the jet with you. I mean, so right, it's what it's a private jet. Like I don't want to. I'm too. I'm too above to ride with everyone else. It's so. It's just weird. It's like it's and it's and it's and like you said, it's insulting. You know. And, you know, there's so many people. I think even every day when we do like, you know, benevolent offerings for people who come after church and, you know, need that money. There's so many people who could use uh, not even $65, you know, 65 million for a jet that only you get to have the privilege of using. I just think that, you know, he probably thought it was a good idea mm -hmm. until the backlash came, mm -hmm. you know, and thank God for the backlash. Yeah, because the backlash led to them pulling down the page and canceling the fundraiser and uh, the publicist said there won't be one in the future, so that's that. So moving right along, Taraji P. Henson was recently on the Steve Harvey show and Steve asked her about her dating life because she is single and she basically said that she's too old to date and I guess she meant like to just be out here claiming boyfriends and stuff. I'm a grown woman, so you're like dating and let's just see, that, those days are over. If there's nothing on this finger, here if this finger's naked, no one gets claimed. You don't get claimed. You don't get claimed until you claim me. Now people claim people after two weeks, you know. Um, we, 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 we didn't actually talk, we text, right? And then on Facebook we're in a relationship. Mm -hmm. So. You know, I think that makes sense. And when you really are trying to find somebody, you have to get to know them and, you know, um, so I understand that. I, I think you want to get to know people before you start parading them around mm -hmm. as your significant other. And I think like she said, when you get to a certain stage, cause she's in, you know, like she's in her forties, right? You know, maybe she just kind of feels like, that sounds like something my dad would say. My dad is one of those type of people where it's like, well, that guy is nice, but until you're married, until you know marriage is on the table, like it really doesn't mean anything. But I think she, I think that makes sense, and I, I think people should um, take time to get to know people before they go public. Mm -hmm. I hate to sound like it's a company trying to sell stock, right? But <laughs> right before you go public, but take time to get to know uh, if this is something that's worth letting people know, you know, you're in because you might not be in it. Mm -hmm. Right, and it's like. It's nothing like having to change that status, having to take those pictures down. So I feel like after you'd have been embarrassed one good time, you know, shut, sit down and shut up. So 
I think Taraji's on the right track. Mm -hmm. I can't believe she's single though. Cookie? I can't, I, I can't, I don't know. She waiting for you. Right? <laughs> Let's make that happen. Pray on it, pray on it, right? I'm not a lion, I'm, but, I'm, but I'm from the tribe of Judah, I'm David. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this episode of Did Y'all See? We would like to thank our special guest, Reverend David Bullock from Oxygen's Preachers of Detroit. Thank you, and look, be sure to catch me Friday nights, 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, Preachers of Detroit on Oxygen. Yes, and for more videos like this, make sure you check out our YouTube page, youtube.com backslash Madam Noir. Thank you.